Hi, I'm Greg Evans, and today I'm talking with Natasha Wilkinson, who's CEO of the Tabulum and Templar Home for the Age. Natasha's going to be talking with us about the use of the Aged Care Leadership Capability Development Framework in the design of a major training initiative in um, Victoria. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Greg. How are you? Very well, thanks. And thank you for making the time to be with us today. No problems at all. Natasha, I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about how you came to the job of CEO of the Tabulum and Templar Home for the Aged. What was your journey? Sure, Greg. Well, I've had um, quite a journey to get into aged care, which has been very interesting. I actually spent, um, well, my growing up years in hospitality and then um, I worked for 15 years in the IT industry. Um, once I departed from the IT industry, Tabulum and Temple Homes asked if I would come and do some consulting work for them in relation to their IT systems. And that actually saw me then in amongst the whole, all the departments within TTHA, asking them what they needed and, and how we were going to actually move them forward from an IT perspective. That then saw me as the operations manager, then saw our CEO at that time resign and the board asked me whether I'd like to become the, um, the acting CEO. I think I then knew that there was going to be a number of changes that had to happen, so I sort of said to them, I'll come on as the CEO. And um, here I am today, so three years later, and, and really enjoying the aged care industry. It's been fantastic so far. Lots of changes, but it's, it's a good industry mm. to be in. Natasha, uh, that's, that's not a typical pathway to the CEO's role necessarily, and many people go through a clinical pathway. Yes, and, and I think when I, when I did come on with TTHA, I actually worked with a director of nursing. So I was her administration um, person, come operations person, and we, um, we worked very closely together in, in finding out about the clinical side of it. I've always liked the clinical side, but I don't have that theory. I probably have the practical. And, and I think from a perspective of not necessarily having the clinical, I then question things and, and, and wonder why we do things clinically like we do. And it gives us a, a bit of a business background or a bit of a, a different background to what our Director of Nursing has and, and we're able to play things off together, which has been fantastic. I think in that, yeah, in the aged care industry, I think you need to have that now. It's not just about clinical, it's quite business focused as well. So. It, it has proved to be, so far, very worthwhile for our organisation. Natasha, now we understand that you have been closely involved with the Workforce Innovation Network in the South East Victoria region. Um, can you tell us how the Workforce Innovation Network is supporting the development of leadership across the aged care sector in Melbourne? Yeah, I, look, the WIN program has been absolutely fantastic for the aged care industry. We've had a dedicated resource here in the southeastern region and um, not only has that brought about networking, um, just different guidance, direction, um, facilitation, there's just been a whole lot of um, work that WIN has done for us, brought in a number of key leaders within the organise within the industry, within the aged care industry together to actually conceptualise what we can do as a leadership group and, and then develop our leaders within the aged care industry. So um, that has been probably instrumental to getting the actual projects working and, and where we are today. So a big, a big thank you to Wynne for doing that. Natasha, um, what can you tell us about the Graduate Certificate of Management that's been developed in the South East Victorian Wynne region? Sure. We've um, worked together with a group of industry leaders um, in the aged care industry. It's been a, a fantastic process where we've had a number of us get together, talked about what we think needs to be developed for developing leaders, emerging leaders in the aged care industry. Um, so we've worked in conjunction with the, this group of people, um, HR managers, CEOs, um, people and cultural managers from from broad group, um, not just small aged care industry people but also larger groups, 
um, and we've all got together, worked out what we think we actually need um, to develop leaders within the aged care industry so people have a career path in the aged care industry. They have um, aspirations, they have learning, they have lessons that they can can actually work towards to actually become true leaders and, and step themselves up within their career path. Um, we have decided to do that through university and through the university we've now developed this, this graduate certificate of management and they are, we're nominating a number of leaders throughout our organisations to actually attend this year course and this year course they will come out with um, aged care specific, management, leadership and a whole lot of skills that will take true leaders into the aged care industry into the 21st century, which I think is just fantastic. Natasha, can you tell us how the aged care leadership capability framework was used to help guide the design of the program? Sure. So the aged care leadership capability framework was a fantastic sounding board for us. Um, there was a number of areas in that that enabled us to work together with what we needed for um, leaders to develop leader, leader levels, like actually working out who, where do the leaders in the aged care industry sit, um, looking at how the capabilities, what skill set was required and being able to work out a, a level that would be consistent for people at a certain skill base. Um, the capabilities framework was that sounding board for us. It was our probably benchmark really of where we could work out, okay, well what do we need? And we realised that there were there were leaders, level one leaders from this capabilities, level two leaders, level three leaders, all having different skill sets that we worked together with um, the, the group to actually match what education would be needed for these um, for these leaders going forward. The aged care leadership development framework um, is quite broad. Do you see it being useful for smaller aged care organisations as well as the larger players in the field? Absolutely. I think that this framework is a guide. It's a benchmark. It's a it's a group of people in the industry that have put together what they believe leaders in the aged care industry need to be like. It's not necessarily going to be all things for everybody, but the aged care industry can actually use it as, as what I said, that benchmark, that opportunity to say, okay, well, this is what we want, this is where we want to develop, here's some, here's some benchmarking, here's some Here's a capability framework that's already been set for us to actually give us a standard for the aged care industry. It, it doesn't matter necessarily how that's implemented because different organisations have different money. They have uh, different needs even. They might have a number of leaders that they need to increase their skills with or other organisations only have a small hierarchy of leaders. I think that it will give the parameters and the capabilities of what we need in leaders within the aged care industry and then that will strengthen our aged care industry as well. You know, to be able to have a level of what we know, a skill set, requirements of the leaders of the aged care industry, that's just going to take us into, into the next um, next requirements of what we need to do as an aged care industry. With all these reforms that are coming through and so forth, we need to have our people a lot more smarter, a lot more aligned, a lot more knowledgeable of what they need to do to take, um, take the industry forward. Any other advice that you'd give to an organisation who might be considering using the capability framework? I would say read it, look through it. There's so much information in there. There's so many tips and skills. The smaller organisations that wouldn't have the resources to be able to develop something like this, they will get so much out of it. The larger organisations, I think it's fantastic for them to be able to map some of their leadership skills that they've already developed and have a look at what the industry is saying. This is, this is an industry-led document. It's not necessarily from one, one organisation. So I think from that we can all learn so much. We can use it for however we want to use it 
Um, we can use parts of it. We can use the whole document. There's so much in there that talks about a wide range of what leaders need in the aged care industry that it will be useful for everybody, I believe. Natasha, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. No worries, Greg. It's been fantastic to be a part of it. And um, I just think the Capabilities Framework is just going to take our industry so much further, which I'm really excited about. Natasha Wilkinson, thank you for your time.